All right, in this lesson, we're going to be learning the newest song, Changes, by the one and only Justin Bieber. I'm going to start by showing you the finger-picking version, and don't be scared off if you're new because it's really easy. shouldn't take you long to get it all. But then I'll also show you a quick, easy chords option at the end if you want to just strum along. So let's get right into it and start with finger picking. And if you want a step-by-step -step complete guide to fingerstyle guitar, you can get a free trial to my complete program, again by clicking here, or I'll put another link in the description below this video. All right, to start off, we're gonna have our first finger on the eighth fret of the A string, then our third finger on the 10th fret of the D string, and our pinky on the 10th fret of the B string. Then with our right hand, we're gonna start and we're gonna pick that A string with our thumb. Then our first finger, pick the D string. And then our third finger, pick the B string. Then after that, you're gonna smack on the frets. And it doesn't have to be too hard, just a nice light smack to give it that nice percussive click. Then after that, we're gonna move down, keeping our fingers in basically the same position. Slide down to the fifth fret on the A string, the seventh fret on the D string, and then the eighth fret with that pinky on the B string. That one might be a little bit of stretch, but just try it a little bit and your fingers will stretch out. And then with this hand, we're going to play all three of those strings with the same fingers that we did before and just pluck them all at the same time to get a nice ringing chord. So you're gonna do, pluck them all, and then use that third finger to hit the B string. Then after that, you're gonna do another hit and again, just nice and light, get a nice little click there. You don't have to do the clicks if they're too tough, but they do give it a nice rhythmic feel to the song. And then, after that, you're gonna switch, take off this pinky, leave your first and third finger in their place, and then put your second finger on the sixth fret of the B string. And then play all three of those strings again with the right hand in the exact same way we've been doing it all throughout the song. Then on your right hand, you're gonna play thumb, third finger, first finger, thumb, first finger, third finger, first finger. So that part is and then you can put that in with the entire riff. And then you can practice that for a little bit and eventually you'll work up to a little bit of a faster speed. And that's all there is to it. That part, you can play it through the entire song and it'll sound great for the entire time. Now, you can do that if you want to, but like I said, you can also play it with some easy chords and just strum along. All we're gonna do here is follow the same rhythm, switching between an F, a D sus four, and a D minor. And this is the rhythm I'm gonna play.
So you can hear there I'm following the same basic rhythm as we did in the finger picking part. On the F, we're going to start with down, 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 up. Then you're going to switch to D sus4, down, down, mute, and the mute, all you're doing is putting the side of your palm on the strings just to give that click feel again if you're using a pick, or you can also strum with just your fingers. But you're going to do down, down, mute on the D sus4, and then end on D minor, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. So all together. Down, 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 up, down, down, mute, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, mute, down, 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 up, down, down, down. And so you could play either of those parts for the entire song. You can even switch between the finger picking and the strumming in the choruses and verses if you want to, just to change things up. But either one of those parts will work for the entire song and sound great. And if you can play that, you can play the entire song. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to get notified of every new upload I post. With that, I'll see you in the next five minute guitar lesson.